Okay, that's it. All right. So for those doing the recording, sorry, I've just started the recording a little bit late. Okay, coming down onto the mat. We're going to do our hip flexors and hand space. Have your roller near you. Put your leg in front. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. Can be your left or your right leg. Hands on the floor. Slide your back leg back. Move your back leg back a little bit more, Felix. That's it. Point your toes at the back and rotating those hips side to side. Beautiful. Make sure your knee is directly over your ankle. Don't have your foot too far forward. And let's take it back from here. Digging that heel in, stretching that hammy all the way to the insertion. Knee straight and coming forward. Make sure you straighten that front knee. Breathing out. And forward. Good. Make sure you get that knee straight. The most important thing is getting this knee dead straight. So Felix, straighten your front knee as you go back. All the way. There we go. Two more. Breathing out. Digging it in. Nice. Last one. Stretching back. Perfect. Coming up, let's change sides. So, I've got my right leg in front, knee over the ankle directly, hands on the floor, slide your back leg back, point that back foot, and rotate the hips side to side. That's it, loosening off that back hip flexor, front butt, and the hip capsule. And from here, let's take it back, straightening that front knee, and coming forward. Taking the hips all the way back, making sure that that front knee goes straight. That's the most important thing. Breathing out. And forward. Very nice. Move your hands as much as you need. And back. Good. We've got one more. Very nice. All right. From here, grabbing your foam roller. We're going to go onto our back on the foam roller. So placing it on the mat. You're going to sit on the bottom, on the one end, and lie all the way back, rolling back, head on the roller. From here, arms out to the side, and you're going to do our snow angels on the floor. So your aim with this is to keep your hands touching the floor if you can, but don't hurt your shoulders. Breathing out. That's it, breathing out. You want to aim to get those shoulders down as much as you can. Keep that belly button pulled in. Nice, let's go for five more. Remember not to arch your back, you want to keep that back glued to the roller. Three more, shoulders down and back as you slide those arms up and down. Very nice, now from here, take your arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Tummy pulled in, low back glued to the roller. And from here, you're going to lift one foot up off the floor and place it down. Breathing out. And down. Keep going. I'm going to turn this way so I can watch Felix. Nice. Keep your belly button pulled in all the time. Breathe out. Use that breath out to help pull the tummy in. Glue your low back to the roller for four more. Three. This is really activating the core. Two. Very nice. All right, rolling up. We're going to come up into standing from here and we're going to start our workout. So we can put the rollers over here. So to start with, we're going to start with one weight. We're going to go into a standing single leg deadlift and then up into a knee with a shoulder press. So standing on the right leg, back straight. We're going to Bend down towards the floor, breathing out, lift your knee, punch up to the ceiling. So we're going to go down and up. We're going to go for 45 seconds one side, 45 the other side. Careful standing on the mat, it might be bad for your balance. Right, so setting your shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Let's go in three, two, one, reaching down to the floor, opposite hand and foot. Coming up, tummy pulled in, breathing out. That's it. Stretching down. You want to think of sending your hips back as you do this. And reach. Try and keep that foot off the floor. Breathing in. And out. 
Nice work. Shoulders down the back, tummy pulled in. We got 20 seconds. Very good. Straight back, shoulder blades down the back. Breathing out as you push. Woo, 10 seconds. Find a spot to focus on. Five, three, two, one. Very nice, changing sides, good job. It helps to hold on if you need for balance. Okay, other side, so other leg, other arm. Let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Reaching down, back flat. Breathing out. When you send this leg back and you hinge forward at that hip, your back stays flat, your shoulders stay down and back. You don't want to round your back. That's it, bring that knee up in front. Tummy pulled in, knee up. That's it. Very nice. 20 seconds to go. Use that knee coming up to you. Bring your tummy in. Nice work. 10 seconds. Shoulders down and back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's do one more rep. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. All right. Coming down onto the mat, we're going to go into our dead bug using both hands, both weights. So get your both weights, lying on your back. We're going to go 45 seconds dead bug. So lying on your back. Arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Make sure your knees are over your hips. Tummy pulled in, breathing out, and let's go. Opposite arm and leg. That's it. Breathing in and out to come up. You want to make sure that low back stays glued to the floor. Tilt that tailbone in. Feel like you're squashing yourself with space there. Breathing in and out. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Beautiful. We've got 15 seconds to go. As you breathe out, pull those abs in deeper to your spine. 10 seconds. Nice. Five. Three. Two. And one. Placing those weights down. We're going to stay on the mat. Come and lie facing me. Have a quick sip of water if you need. our clam stinger. So from here, knees up in front, feet lifted, tummy pulled in, make sure your abs are engaged. We're going to go in three, two, one. So we're going to open, extend that leg. That's it. Breathing out. Keep your hips facing forward. Perfect. Nice strong leg when you straighten it. Pulling that belly button in towards your spine. Nice. And you're all doing it perfectly, keeping your hips facing forward, squeezing from the bottom, strong leg. We've got 15 seconds to go. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Nice, four, five, three, two, one. Finish it off. And relax it down. Very nice. While we're on the side, we're going to go into our next exercise. We're going to go side plank, threading the needle. Okay, so staying on the same side. Elbow directly under your shoulder. If you want to do this with the weight, you can. I'm not going to do it with the weight. It's a hard enough exercise. Top leg in front. Shoulders down and back. Let's lift up into that side plank. And let's go. Breathing in, twist under, breathing out. That's it. You can roll your hips as you take that through. Nice. Really get that twist. Beautiful. Breathing in and out. We've got 25 seconds to go. Perfect job. 
Still think of pulling that tummy in. Squeeze your bottom. Pause. 15. Whew. Five. Three, two, and one. Well done. Whew. Coming on to your other side. So we're going to do our clam stinger first and then that's threading the needle. And then we're going to repeat the whole circuit. Okay, so coming onto your side, supporting your head, knees up, feet up, tummy pulled in, and let's go. Open, extend, toes. So teaching point, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in, hips facing forward. Nice strong quads as you extend this knee. So here we're working on glute medius in the butt. Pulling up the quads in the front here. Shoulders down and back. Work your lower trapezius muscles and your lats a little bit. And then pulling that belly button in towards your spine. We're working our TA, transverse abdominals. Breathing out. We've got 15 seconds to go. That's it. So those glute medius are the little muscles in the butt here. And they help rotate the hips and support the glutes and the back and the tummy. Breathing out for three, two, one, and relax it down. Well done. Sorry, Bob, so I only just remembered now about mentioning the muscles. Hence, all of it happened in that 45 seconds. Right, on your side, elbow directly under the shoulder. You want to think of lifting up. So we're recruiting the serratus anterior here, which is like that go along the ribs. Top leg in front, and your legs lifting up to go. Breathing in as you rotate. So we're working here on our oblique muscles, both interior and exterior. That's it. Breathing in, twist. Squeeze those inner thighs. Always pulling in your tummy. That's it, we've got 15 seconds to go. Nice, this is a tough one. Five, three, two, and one. Perfect job. Round one, circuit one. Come up into standing, have a quick sip of water. We're gonna grab our weight again. We're going to our standing single leg deadlifts with a knee and a shoulder press. So let's get ready to go. Have your water. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Let's stand on the left leg to start. Right hand. Bend that left leg slightly. And let's go in three, two, one. So the standing single leg deadlift, we're pulling up with the hamstring and the glute. Pulls us up. Tummy pulled in. That's it. So we slowly release, eccentrically the hamstring and glute. Coming up. That's it. Breathing in and breathing out. Make sure if you use your glute and your bum and your hamstring, your back doesn't hurt. Try not to round the shoulders. Keep the back flat here. You don't want to be hanging that arm down. You want to pull it down and back. Nice. We've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Resting. Just while we're resting with that, be very careful when we're hanging down that your shoulder doesn't hang forward. You still want to pull that scapula back along your rib cage. So don't let the arm hang. Pull it back, okay? Let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Breathing in as you go down. Breathing out. Nice. Send the hips back. Make sure you use that butt and the hamstring to pull you up. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out. That's it. As you come up, you're using your hip flexor to lift that knee. But you really want to use the abs to support it. Nice work. 
We've got 10 seconds. Slide those shoulders away from the ears. Five, three, two, one. Perfect, coming onto your back. We're gonna go into our dead bug again. Grabbing both your weights. Lying on your back. That's it. Shoulders down the back. We still wanna think of activating those shoulder muscles. Tell people that we don't wanna work our upper traps, we wanna pull those shoulders down. Let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Breathing in, opposite arm moving away, and out. So here, we're obviously using our abs, but we're using our whole anterior line. By stretching out the leg and the opposite arm, and then crossing in a sling over. <coughs> so breathing in. We've got 30 seconds to go. Tilt that tailbone to your nose. You want to use that T8, tuck your tummy in. 15. Nice work. Breathe out. Use that breath out to hold your tummy in. 5. 3. 2. 1. Relax your feet down. Relax the weights down. Support your neck. Let's lift those feet up and let's go in three, two, one. Open, extend. That's it. So making sure hips stay facing forward. That's perfect. Strong quads, that muscle in the front. Straightens the knee. Tummy pull in towards your spine. Nice. And still in this position, think of putting those shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. Good job, we've got 15 seconds. Squeeze, feel that thumb burning. Tummy pulled into the spine, four, five, three, two, one, very nice. Coming onto your elbow, we're gonna go into our side plank. If it's too much to do three in a needle, just hold the side plank, okay? Top leg in front, using your inner thighs to squeeze. The inner thighs run up into your core, so they help support. Let's get ready to go in. Three, two, one, lifting up. Breathing in and out. Nice. Push the floor away with your elbow. That's it. Tummy in. Squeeze those inner thighs. We've got 15 seconds to go. Five. Three. Two. One. Relax it down. Very nice. Coming on to the other side. Lying flat, we're going to go into our clam stinger first. Knees bent up, support your head, lift those legs up, and let's go. Stretch. Nice. Hips facing forward, strong quads. Tummy pulled in towards your spine. Perfect job. Keep those hips facing forward. Ooh, cramping my feet. 20 seconds to go. I put my hand on my hip because that way I can still feel inside the hip bone if those TA are working. Breathing in and out. Nice, we've got five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax it down, well done. Coming up into your elbow, lifting up. Really pushing that rib cage away from the floor. Cross that top leg in front, squeeze those inner thighs. And let's go in three, two, one. 
We're gonna rotate, twist, and reach. Squeeze your inner thighs. Nice. Breathing in and out. Really use that control. Nice work. 20 seconds to go. Squeeze your inner thighs. Breathing out as you lift up. We got 10 seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. Woo. Relax it down. Well done. Round two, circuit one. Let's go into our next one. Have a sip of water. We're coming up and standing. You okay? Very nice. Now it's something we haven't done for ages, 
We're going to finish it off going into our side V. So hand on the floor, hand on your thigh. From here, we're breathing out, roll back, and coming down. Use this hand to push it into the floor. Tummy pulled in. So roll back, breathe out. Nice. Try and come up a little bit higher. Please okay, push that hand into the floor. Let's go for 10. That's it. Nice. Breathing out. Use that breath. Very good. Pause and hold. Nice. We've got five more. Perfect, Felix. Vanessa Bob's amazing. For three. Two. Pause for a picture. Last one. And relax. Very nice. That was amazing. Let's go to the other side. We haven't done that one for ages, so I thought it was time to bring it back. Okay, lying on the side. From here, take your legs 30 degrees in front. Roll that top hip in front of your underneath hip. Stretch that top leg away. And let's lift up and down for 10. Nine. You want the muscle that's facing the ceiling to work. So I'm not trying to work my hip abductors, I'm trying to work my butt. So make sure you roll forward enough that the bum muscle is facing the ceiling. Four more. Shoulders down. Three. Two. One, hold it there, eight circles. Breathing out, control it from the pelvis. Three, two, one, other way. Tummy pulled in, keep the legs one on top of the other, just doing circles. Two, one, now roll those hips back. Opening up the pelvis, let's go, lifting up and down. Breathing out as you lift. Use your abs. Nice, five. Four, two, one, relaxing it down, well done, stretch that arm out, have your palm on the floor, hand on your thigh, make sure you've got room on your mat to rotate, and let's go breathing out, and slowly down, two, nice work, three, all the way, Tummy pulled in, breathing out, squeeze. We've got four more, pause and hold. Three, make sure you're using those abs. <coughs> nice, one more. And relaxing it down. Right, okay, coming up onto your hands and knees. Last one in the circuit. Circuit two, we might not repeat that whole side series. Okay, we're going to go onto your hands and knees. Right hand behind your head. Left leg outstretched. So, shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in. Stretch that left leg. Make sure you're not arching. Right hand behind your head. And we're going to tuck for 10. Knee to elbow. And stretch it out. Try not to go down to the floor. That's it. Breathing out. Use your abs. We're going for 10. Tuck. Tummy in. Four. Really use those abs. Stretch that leg away. Woo. I'm using my balance. We've got four more. Three. Two. One. Well done. Have a little rest. Other side. So with that exercise, because it's opposite hand and leg, you've really got to work your abs and the shoulder blades. So shoulders down the back, hands directly under your shoulders, tummy pulled in, right leg stretched out, hand behind the head, legs go for 10. Breathing out. Make sure you lift that elbow into extension here. Tummy pulled in. That's it. So really set yourself. Find your stability here. And back. Nice. Let's go for four more. 
three, get extension of that thoracic spine. Two, one, and relax, very nice. Right, round two, circuit two. Sip of water if you need, come up into standing. We're gonna go into our side lunge with the biceps. Using your weights, I'm not gonna use the weights this time, just for my, protecting my hammy. So, when you're ready, let's get ready to go. In three, two, one. One side, dropping down, bicep curl. Use your weights, because I'm just not because it's trying to be sensible. Shoulders down and back, we're going for 45 seconds. Nice, that's it, and up. If you want, you can stay there. Tummy pull in, drop. Make sure you're dropping your bottom down. Keep your back straight. Down, Felix, go to the side. You're dropping to the one leg. So if you're staying there, you've got to go to the side. We've got 10 seconds. All the way down. Five. Three, two, and one, very nice. Right, other side. Shoulders down and back. When you go down, I know sometimes it's tricky. Try and have a nice wide stance. Think of this as the lunge. It's not about trying to get your body to the floor. It's trying to drop this bottom down. So try to get that section so you really work that butt. Okay, let's go. Other side. Dropping down. And up, very nice. Right, so with my dodgy hamstring, please excuse me, I'm staying here. You keep going. Down. Shoulders down and back. Keep your back nice and flat. You want to set your hips back. Don't drop the shoulders, think of dropping your bum. That's it. 15 seconds to go. Five, three, two, let's do one more, one, awesome job, well done. Right, coming down onto the mat, let's go onto your hands and knees. We're coming up the side series, we're going to run out of time for that one, so dropping the weights, coming onto your hands and knees. We're going to do this, then two more abs, jet bug, and then we go. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. We're going to lengthen that left leg straight out behind us. Other left. Hand behind your head. Let's go for 10. Tuck and stretch. So this exercise isn't about speed. I'd rather you control and do less. Beautiful. You want to think of tucking and then open up that elbow nice three more two one very good much better and relax let's change sides hands under your shoulders tummy pull in right leg stretched out left leg behind the head left hand let's go one two Extend that thoracic spine without arching the back. Four. Five. Breathing out as you extend. Six. Pull the mini button in. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nearly there. Ten. Awesome job. Right. Grabbing your dumbbells. We're going to go into our dead bug again. Okay, dead bug, and then sit ups with the weights, and then we're done. So, lying on your back, arms up to the ceiling, legs up, tummy pull in. Let's go for 10. We're going to breathe in, breathing out. Focus on keeping your low back glued to the floor. And to do that, you have to pull your TA in. So scooping in those tummy muscles to your spine. Let's go for five. Four. 
go and read. We're reading out until you come back together. Two, one. Place your feet down on the floor, arms stay up. Turn your palms towards your thighs, bend your elbows slightly. We're going to go for 10, taking the hands behind your head. Breathing out, curling up into sitting, reach and curling down. Have your feet further away from you so that when you come up it's easier. Breathing in and curling down. That's it, nice. When you take your hands behind your head, really activate your abs, making sure that you don't arch your back. Curling down, breathing in, and rolling up. Very nice. Five more. Curl down through that spine. Beautiful. Get extension at the top here. If your neck hurts, keep the weights low. So if you find your neck, you still keep your weights down here. We've got two more. Tummy pull in. Hit the top coccyx to your nose. Breathing out, rolling out. Last one. And let's curl all the way down. Finish it. And relax it down. Well done. Amazing. Rest your weights down. And let's stretch back those knees into your chest just to stretch it out. Very nice. Now hold your left leg there, straighten your right leg down and on the floor. Now pull in with your right hand, pull that left knee across, all the way, crossing over, use your hand to pull that knee, have your opposite hand on the floor, palm facing up, and look at that opposite hand. Coming back to the middle, hold your right knee in, stretch that left leg out. And let's pull it across using your left hand. Stretch. Reach that right hand away from you, turn your palm up. Very nice. Coming back into the middle, let's rock side to side. And breathing out, coming up into sitting. Well done, guys. That was a real combination of weights and pure Pilates. So thank you for the suggestions, everyone. Have a fabulous rest of your day. And we'll see those of you tomorrow morning. Or